I'm reviewing Otter Beyond 7 inch kids tablet. This is an Android tablet and it has Bluetooth and is compatible with Wi Fi with a dual camera and touch screen. So the tablet comes with this little bitty bedazzled stylus, so it's perfect for my little girl. You have a silicone case. Um, the handle kind of looks like it may come out at some point. It's kind of flimsy, uh, but the silicone is actually pretty thick and it has a little pull out here so you can use it for a stand. There we go. To make it easier if they want to watch movies. On the back you can see one camera. Now the microphone for that is actually towards the top so the silicone is cut out but it kind of covers the microphone. Uh, the microphone is still sensitive and it still picks you up but um, you need to make sure that it is not, make sure it's not covering that little hole right there. You have your power input here and you have your micro USB port. That's where your speaker is located. You have your volume control here on the side and your headphones. I'm going to show you without the case on. This is very, very lightweight. And I definitely would recommend keeping that silicone case on at all times because it's very smooth and it's kind of slippery. So make sure that is on at all times. Um, this, if it falls because it's so lightweight, uh, I think that if it hits a corner, it will crack. You have an ability to put a TF card here, which may be a good idea for you if you want to put um, movies or something on it, simply because this is only 8 gigabytes of ROM. There's the Auto Beyond logo and Android. So when you get in, you're going to hit the lock, and you can go to unlock, or you could also access the camera, but if you go to Google, it'll send you back here too, since there's parental controls on. Now there are many different themes, this is the one that I chose, let's turn that down. So you can press on something, it zooms in, so there's access to the camera. This is my photos, my pictures that they can go to after they take them. This is the music player. Then you have your movies. These are the different themes. This is your standard right here. You can turn on and off the music and sound. You can go to settings and you can pick different backgrounds. Um, the Ferris wheel is the one that I just had on there. Uh, there's also the ones that are cards. So this is kind of the standard where it looks like apps. Uh, this is your one that looks like cards. I'll show you how that looks. Instead of the apps, they'll have cards to go through. You can press this to go to all apps at one time if you would. Okay, so I have that loaded up. Um, here are all the applications that she has right now and how you can control these applications is through your parental controls. 
If you want to move the apps, you can do that, but you will need your password. Parental controls the same way. Now, when you first start this, it'll ask you a multiplication uh, question or an addition question, something that they feel a child of the age that would be playing this wouldn't know. And that will get you into parental controls. And then you can set a PIN number once you have completed that. Now here we go. You can go to Kids Store and it actually will send you to Iwawa, which is the application that they are using for the parental controls and the kids application. And there are many that they can download through here or they can go to Android and look through selections that they have chosen through here. But you can actually go to the Google Play Store and download straight from Google Play. Websites are websites that they are allowed to go to. So if you want them to have access to internet and say that they can go to you know, lego.com, Disney, uh, any of those, you can actually set those up here. And those are the only ones that they will have access to. Or you can just completely prohibit all of it. This is where you're going to control the media content. You can turn on and off the music you have in here, the movies, pictures. The whitelist is a package that's not shown on the kids home screen. Okay, now this is where it gets pretty cool. So you have your account. Um, you can set up more than one child. I have my daughter on here. Time limit. You press time limit and you can actually set up through the whole week or single day. Like how many times during each day and during what times that they are allowed to play. Statistics will show how often that the child has played with an application during that week. Set up its um, basic stuff where you can you know, set up the language, it'll show your storage, your internal storage, if there's an app update, if you want to give them any feedback. So this is the front camera. Uh, it, it's okay, there's really not a great quality in the camera, but this is a kid's tablet. So this is the picture that I took. Um, the colors are kind of faded and it's, it's not something that you'd really, you know, could print but it is a fun tool for them. You can also do videos. And you can do some minor adjusting of the settings. You have your basic zoom where you can pinch and pull. I'm going to demonstrate the microphone for you, so I'm going to talk just for a few seconds so you can hear. Turn the volume up. I'm going to demonstrate the microphone for you, so I'm going to talk just for a few seconds so you can hear. See, the microphone is very clear. I do have some difficulties with it loading if there are too many applications on here. So you need to monitor your storage.
hit your home button. And it's going to take you back to the child's home screen. Overall, for the price and the quality, I think that this is a pretty good tablet. Uh, the camera definitely has some clarity issues. There's not a lot of memory on here, so you would need a TF card for sure. Now, it does have issues with loading applications if the storage gets a little too full. I hope that this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.